Well, guys, it's been five years since Hellboy came out. I'm probably you remember of the first Hellboy movie that came out 20 years ago and came out in 2004. That is a way better version of Hellboy than this piece of dreadful crap. And no joke, after I watched this film after five years, I gotta say, this film is absolutely atrocious. It is absolutely bad. It is terrible. Hello, everyone, or good morning, everyone. It's still morning in my area. Honestly, guys, and this is your good old neighbor, Nick Hicks, Spider-Verse, and Frozen 2, and Kim Possible Fan 2001. And today, I am doing a movie rant on the Hellboy. Based on the 2004 movie, which is known as Hellboy. And warning, this video will have some language, because I'm going to call it a Hellboy. Because they call it Hellboy, so, uh, so honestly, uh, what's the point of calling it that? Because you're going to call it Heck Boy, because all, uh, because my YouTube channel had to be family friendly. But warning, this video will have some foul language. It's going to have some one foul language. It's going to be a hell word. Like, who cares? Honestly, guys, my Disney movie, which a hard to of Notre Dame, say the H word. So this is nothing new. Honestly, guys, it came out of year of one of the best years for movies, which is another than 2019. And honestly, guys, we all agree that 2019 is the most underrated years for movies because I don't understand why some people did not care about 2019. Uh, I mean, the year of the movie of 2019. Like, come on, the 2019 got some masterpiece like the uh, like Frozen 2, Joker by Joker Phoenix, and Tom Phillip, and even Robert Diano, and the Avengers Endgame. Which, and even Night Fell, which is a way better movie than Hellboy. Honestly, guys, no further ado, let's get this rant started, shall we? And honestly, guys, I was really looking forward to the movie called Hellboy because I really enjoyed, I really enjoyed the first Hellboy movie that came out, it came out in 20 years ago. Like, happy late anniversary to the first Hellboy movie. I cannot believe why. I cannot believe that film turned 10, 20 years old, and I'm either stop this timeline because because honestly, guys, every single time you hear about the year that came out and making myself old, oh my god, oh my god, I gotta stop that. Put a bug already. Anyway, so after I watched the first trailer on Lionsgate YouTube channel, I gotta say, but I was really looking forward to it because number one, it got it got David Harbour, and honestly, guys, I'm a huge fan of David Harbour. I do like him as Harbour. No, people, not Harbour, a bugs drive. You get the picture on my face. No, I'm talking about Harbour, which is a show from Stranger Things, which is my second favorite show from Netflix, honestly. And honestly, guys, it's in my um, I'm probably it's in my top uh, top nine best shows of all time, was but let's see. Anyway, and after the Red Burn trail came out, it was really dark, it was really brutal, and I guess that, but I was really looking forward to it, because, because honestly guys, this film looked like another remake, which is going to be pretty awesome. But, um, but not until the review came along. It got a 17% on Rotten Tomato, and the audience and the critic despised this movie. And after I watched a rant video by Lumbo I Shrap back when he did an extreme rant on Hellboy. I gotta say, but yeah, my hype of this film was really worry. And I was like, you know what? Just on, on the guys, just like Jane Possible said, on the guys, you can't judge everything because of the cover. And yes, I said it too many times in this YouTube channel, and I do not give it on. It's called Nick Hick, Spider Verse, and Frozen 2, and Kim Possible Fame 2001. So cut me a strike, would ya? Anyway. And honestly, guys, I honestly I can't judge everything 
because of a review and the critic and the audience. I just want to give this film a chance. So after I finally watched this film in 2019, I gotta say this film is absolutely god awful. I have never seen a Hellboy movie be that bad, which I would have watched Hellboy 2, which is a way more tolerable than Hellboy 2019. And honestly, don't get me wrong, uh, the, uh, honestly, the sequel of Hellboy 2, it's just not as good as the first film. I just think the sequel was kind of unnecessary, honestly, because they should stick to the first film and there was no need to the continuing of the Hellboy movie. And I gotta say, but I can't believe why this film was absolutely bad, man. I have never seen this type of Hellboy movie be that bad, man. Like, come on, it's called Hellboy, based on the comment, one of the best versions of Hellboy. And we got a movie that that came out 20 years ago. How in the world you screw this movie up? This film had one simple job, and all of a sudden, you, you go way over the top. With the blood, the gore, the brutal, which I won't, honestly, I don't have a problem with it. But on the other, on the other, on the other, the direction of this film is absolutely bad. So, do I have any good thing about this film? Absolutely not. I don't have any good thing about this film. On the guy, on the guys, on the guys, every team, I'm sorry. I was trying to think so many good things about this film. It's kind of remind me that you're going on your notebook and you. And you're trying to find a picture where you're looking at. Honestly, guys, that's honestly guys, that is my reaction when I honestly when I was watching this film, and I was really hope that a Professor Broom would be my favorite character in the film, and not honestly guys, and not even him save the film because I would have watched a same actor that he was in uh, Taiwan from the um from the Kung Fu Panda, which is a way better character that he played than him as a Professor Broom from the Hellboy 2019. Honestly, guys, and honestly, guys, and this is Mature's least favorite movie of 2019. And honestly, guys, I don't want to go way too far to call this film a worst movie of 2019 because the worst movie of 2019 was another a freaking X-Men Dark Phoenix. One of the worst X-Men movies I have ever seen in my life, and I would have watched X-Men Origin Wolverine way more tolerable than watching Minute of the X-Men Dark Phoenix. Thank goodness that film got a terrible review, and I get it said, but even I'm not heartless, but I am so glad that film bombed the box office because nobody, I repeat, nobody wants to see a X-Men movie trying to be like the Avengers Endgame, which the Avengers Endgame is way better than X-Men Dark Phoenix. Anyway, and that's why X-Men Dark Phoenix is my least favorite film of 2019. Not... Honestly, guys, not the Lion King 2019, and definitely not Terminator Dark Fate, and not even Banana Split movie is my worst movie. No, I'm talking about X-Men Dark Phoenix. It always will be. Anyway, enough of the ado. Let's talk about how bad this film is, and give this film like a, like a lowest rating for a Hellboy movie. The story, it's like the King Arthur story. I am, guys, I am agree with public reviews of, I am getting sick of tired of seeing the same old story based on King Arthur. And guys, no offense to King Arthur. King Arthur is a great, it's the greatest history story since of Hercules. But I guess said, but the King Arthur story is just way overused. It's just way overused. I want to see a way better movie featuring some storyline by King Arthur. Like Soul of Stone by Disney, which is a way better which is a way better of King Arthur story than the Hellboy 2019. Like, what's the point of having a King Arthur story in the freaking Hellboy movie? Like, come on, this is a Hellboy movie. All the guys, we we really want a Hellboy. I'm sorry. We we really want a Hellboy movie based on the comment, not freaking based on King Arthur. It's so freaking annoying. And anyway, guys, in the characters. I absolutely despise every single character. Not even David Harbord as Hellboy saved the film. And I am sorry. David Harbord, David Harbord as Hellboy. I am sorry, man. But this is hand down is one of the worst performers I ever seen from David Harbord. There were much better performers that he was in, which is way better. Like Harper, <clears throat> like Harper from um from Stranger Thing, or even him as Santa Claus in Violent Night, which is way better because at least, at least, he sound like Santa Claus, he look like Santa Claus, and he do the exact same thing just by Santa Claus. 
Well, except the violent, because violent, uh, 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 the guys, Santa Claus can't do any violent in real life, so yeah. Anyway, I gotta say, but I absolutely did not like the choice of David Hallboard as Hellboy, because he did not feel like Hellboy. Honestly, guys, when I was watching this film, it's kind of mummy. It's kind of mummy that he's playing the Hopper from Stranger Thane, but with the makeup, because on the guys, I will get the makeup in a minute. Makeup is absolutely, so absolutely terrible. And the, on the, and the other character, like Professor Bloom, I, honestly, I'll get him in a minute because that is my disappointing characters of the entire movie. And on the guys, in hours. On the guys, I was really hoped that she can be a very attractive girl. And I guess that, but she is so freaking annoying. Next. Anyway, and the one character, his name is Ben. On the guys, I, on the, I did not like, on the, I did not like his character. Yeah, honestly, guy, his comedy was absolutely bad, man. And what's the point of having a comedy? It's called Hellboy. Like, come on. This is a horror action movie featuring Hellboy. Why do we need a comedy film trying to be like a comedy film? Honestly, guys, every single time that some character like Ben and Hellboy, played by David Hallboard, do comedy, it's kind of like mummy. <clears throat> It's kind of mummy that I am watching a freaking comedy film instead of the action horror. I want to see an action horror based on Hellboy better than seeing a comedy film. Like, come on, what's the point of having a comedy film in Hellboy? I know, <laughs> honestly, I already know that did not make no sense, so let's get to the next character. Let's get the character of Blood Queen. I absolutely despise that villain. I absolutely did not like that villain and to be honest i'm not a huge fan of her actress i didn't even care about her character as ours from the resident evil on the god i'm not a huge fan of the uh, of the anderson movie called the called the resident evil prove me all wrong but i'm not talking about wes anderson i'm talking about the other director that have the same name just like wes anderson but wes anderson do some different movies but i'm talking about the other director that have anderson as their name and they keep making some resident evil and they keep making the movie called monster hunt i haven't seen it the movie came out four years ago and i am no bother watching it because i'm not a huge fan of who actress she's not hot she's not cute she's not beautiful and she is not attractive I do not, honestly, I do not care what all of your fans said. Honestly, guys, I really do not like her character, and I do not like her actress. I don't like, honestly, guys, I don't hate her as a person, but, honestly, guys, I'm just not a huge fan of her actress. The same thing with, honestly, guys, it's the same thing that Dignan 1999 are not a huge fan of Kristen Stewart. But now, Kristen Stewart, it just turned into a decent actress after the, after the Bleeding Blood movie that came out this year. No, people, I'm not talking about the song that had Bleeding Blood that came out in 2007. It came out the same year from Kim Possible final, I mean, final episodes. So, you, uh, on the guy, you know I can match us. Anyway, and the most disappointing character of the Thai movie, and I was really hope that he could be the only good character I like in the Thai movie. Not even, he saved the film. Which is no then Professor Bloom. Oh, Professor Bloom, Professor Boom, what the heck you just did? Honestly, guys, I'm probably, honestly, I'm probably, you know, the reason why I think it was almost going to be my favorite character. Because, like, come on, this is the same actress, I'm sorry, this is the same actor that he played Taiwan, I'm sorry, he played Taiwan from the Kung Fu Panda, which is, uh, which is my second favorite villain from the Kung Fu Panda movies, and Kai, it was a really underwhelming villain, and I, and I am so worried about Chameleon, it's gonna be a, uh, it's gonna be another disappointing Kung Fu Panda villain, but we'll see if I watch Kung Fu Panda, I'm sorry, Kung Fu Panda 4, maybe tomorrow, I can't watch it tonight, god, I gotta watch that, gotta watch a Fallout from Amazon Prime Video, which is gonna be way better to get this film out of my face, anyway, and you, honestly, and you know him, and you know him that he was in his characters called John Wick movies. John Wick 1, John Wick 2, John Wick 3, and once not least, John Wick Chapter 4. And I cannot wait to see a spinoff based on John Wick, but we have to wait until 2025. What the heck you just done, Lionsgate? You disappointed us. Anyway, I gotta say... But I gotta say, by him as a Professor Bloom, this is easily is one of the worst 
character that he ever played. I rather see a way better characters based on his actor. I would see Taiwan from Cup Panda and I would see his character from the John Wick movie or way better than him as Professor Broom. What the heck is his name called Professor Broom? My like, come on, that is the stupidest name I ever <laughs> I I have ever heard from um, from the character that he played Taiwan from Cup Panda and um and um um then his character from John Wick movie. I forgot his name. It's been a while I watched John Wick movie, but I might rewatch it maybe pretty soon. Maybe I'll see. Scratch that. I'm gonna rewatch it maybe next show because John Wick spinoff has already got delayed because of the because they uh other guy uh, other guys I'm probably Lionsgate is having a um having enough trouble because number one number one they delay Saw Eleven and now they do sorry. First, they do a uh, John Wick, John Wick spinoff starting ended in the armor, and now they do a Saw Eleven. I got a bad feeling that Lionsgate is going to it out like, like Universal with Mega Mind Two, and even Warner Brothers have to put up with David Zazzle, or even some of the Disney company. I'm not talking about the movie studio. I'm talking about the Disney company. I just feel bad for them. They have to suffer with the Fantasy and Menace calling them work over. <clears throat> Over, over freaking time. I almost said the D word for a second, so my apology. Anyway, let's get on the guy, and I'll get the bird effects in a minute because that's the only, that is the one thing that completely screwed that movie up. Anyway, anyway, guys, in the climax, the climax was really underwhelming. This just has to be one of uh, honestly, this just has to be is one of the most ramenous and most forgettable climax I ever seen for a Hellboy movie. I would see a way better climax in a Hellboy movie. I would see a climax in the first Hellboy movie. Now that's a way better climax because at least that climax it just didn't didn't go over the top. But this film, not anyway. In the giant. What the Ozzy? What the heck am I watching? Am I watching Hellboy movie, or am I watching a movie that came out twelve years ago, which is then Jack and the Giant, <clears throat> Jack and the Giant Sway? I gotta say, but I would watch that film any day to watch a Hellboy twenty nineteen because honestly, guys, the character of the Giant is kind of like my Ozzy. That is Ozzy. That is it. That is absolutely a rip off of the movie that came out twenty. I'm sorry, twelve years ago, which is another than uh Jack and the Giant Sway. Honestly, guys, honestly, guys, I'm probably if you don't know what that movie is, honestly, guys, I'm probably that movie is like a base or a terrible one. I'm sorry, triple one because they have a poster up triple one and they have a characters. Uh, I I'm be staring at the wall. Kind of remind me of the one game called Tipper One. I like Tipper One. Tipper One is a very awesome game. Very awesome game. I didn't say awful. I say awesome. I'm not stupid. Anyway. And on the guy. And I'll get the worst part of the minute. And on the guy. And the, on the guy. And the worst. Sorry. And the one thing. They completely screwed this movie up. Which is better than the blood effects and the gore effects. Guys. I have no problem. I am now. Don't have no problem. With the gold effects. Or even the blood effects. At least you don't go way over top because at least it's way better than what Saw 3D did. Wait, right? wait, like, come on. Who in the white might want to see a pink bud in the freaking Saw movie? Even, even I'm not, even I'm not watching We Need to Put Bud of Honey, and even I'm not watching The Green of Funnel, but I'm going to say it. I would have watched those two movies any day to watch Saw 3D. Any day. That's all I got to say. That's all I got to say. Yeah, because on the guy, we all agreed that Saw 3D is one of the worst movie of the Saw movie, and I want to watch Saw X, which is a way better movie to Saw 3D, my opinion. Anyway, yeah, anyway, when you saw Blood and the Gold Effects, I gotta say, but they are, they are absolutely bad, man. They are absolutely over the top. They are absolutely bad, man. Because there was a worst part of the movie. And honestly, I'll get to, honestly, I'm gonna get to that right now. The worst part of the movie. Which is better than the one giant guy was completely, completely damaged his people. Like, ripping the guy's face. And, oh my goodness, I don't want to talk about it. It was absolutely disturbing. It was absolutely disturbing as crap. Anyway, the worst part of the movie. Which is better than, I've probably seen the trailer. Like, the first trailer and the second trailer. When the giant guy was destroying human. I gotta say, that is the worst part of the movie. Nobody wants to see that. Honestly, nobody wants to see a giant guy, the giant guy, get him in with people. Oh my god, that scene is absolutely bad. 
But don't guy, the only good thing about this film, it's not because it's a movie themselves, it just has to be a poster. Man, look at all these posters. Look at all the first posters I'm looking at right now. Man, now that is a way better. And I would have stared at it for 24-7 instead of, <coughs> instead of, instead of rewatching this film. And honestly, guys, I am not, honestly, I am not watching this film ever again because this film was absolutely bad, absolutely atrocious, and this film was the A word, was the A word, that's crap. Well, that's crap. Anyway, and this is the worst IMAX. Honestly, why in the world this film is in IMAX? I gotta say, but this is the worst IMAX movie <laughs> I ever seen in my life. And I would have watched a way better IMAX movie like Spider Man Across the Spider Verse, Frozen 2, Doom Part 2, or even the Barbie movie, or a way better movie with IMAX. And I would have watched Oppenheimer, which is a way better IMAX than, <laughs> than this in IMAX. Even I'm not a huge fan of Missing Link, but I gotta say, but this film makes Missing Link, Missing Link, as a way better movie. And yeah, sure, Missing Link, I'm sorry, and yeah, sure, Missing Link is my least favorite stop motion movie, and that film was absolutely freaking boring as heck. But I gotta say, but at least that film has a much better story. No, 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 no. Let's not say that. Let's not say that. I'll say that has a much better, sorry, much better characters, much better concept, and much better, um, and much better bondy with, uh, with Missing Link and the one character played by Hugh Jackman. Because why? This film came out the same year of Missing Link. But I gotta say, but I got a bad feeling that Missing Link got a box office flop, and I got a bad feeling that this film was a box office hit. Like, who and why might want to see this film? You know what, I'm done. So, over right, guys, Hellboy 2019. This is, oh, this is honestly, is one of the worst movies of Hellboy movie. The story is absolutely messy. The character is absolutely mean spirit and so stupid. And honestly, guys, the action scene walk like a, I'm sorry. The action scene walk like a freaking video game. Honestly, guys, it's kind of reminding me that you grab a controller and, uh, <laughs> and you show it to your parent and say, Hey, um, hey, um. Hey, look at this, parents. Uh, look at this. I'm playing a Hellboy video game. Screw this crap. Screw this crap. This film is absolutely bad, absolutely atrocious, and nobody wants to, and nobody wants to, want to watch this film anytime soon. And honestly, guys, and does this film got a Razzie reward? Well, let me look at it right now, because anyway, let me check the little Razzie. Let me see if this film got some Razzie someday. Anyway, hmm, huh? I know. Hmm. I did not see any Razzie for Hellboy. And I want TV spot about Super Raid at all. You don't need to do that, okay? You don't need to do that. And on the guy, don't let me get started of the poster. On the guy, don't let me get started of the one poster, which even <clears throat> even I really like the Hellboy poster, but the only Hellboy poster I am did not like, which is not than a warning raid at all. Like, come on, Hellboy. We are not stupid. We're, on, on the guys, we can sit back, we all agreed that Hellboy is a very rated R, and there was no need to make a PG-13 version of Hellboy. Even I'm a huge fan of the 2004 Hellboy movie, and even I think it's a very mediocre with Hellboy too. But I gotta say, but those Hellboy movie with Ron, with Ron Pellman is way better than David Harbour as Hellboy. Sorry, David Harbour, but Ron Pellman is my true Hellboy right there, because at least he's feel like Hellboy, and at least he don't do comedy for 24 hours straight. David Harbour is a very, is a very looking, sorry, is a very nice looking guy. He's a very nice man. I gotta say, but him as Hellboy, absolutely not. And I do enjoy some of the Grace one of video, especially for her, especially for her video about her reaction of the teaser puzzle of Hellboy. When, um, when he should rest, oh boy, some girls really like that puzzle. Sorry, Anyway, I'm gonna give Hellboy 2019 a 1 out of 10. This is absolutely the worst of the worst. And I'm giving this a very, a very gross movie. A seal of naked garbage. Anyway, guys, that was my movie rant to one of the worst versions of Hellboy movie, which is better than Hellboy 2019. Screw this film. Screw the Lionsgate for ruining this film. And screw the rated all warning poster of this and we was really hope that this film will be a golden phenomenon and now this film turned into a cinematic disaster this film is not a cinematic masterpiece oh no 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 this film is a cinematic disaster i would watch a way better movie from 2019 and guys if you're a huge fan of 2019 movie do not watch this film if what i could play if you want to watch a way better movie honestly guys when we get on to my letterbox and, and i will tell you 
what movie you can watch instead of Hellboy 2019. And yes, my mouth is, and yes, my mouth smell like Skittle and ramen because I ate those for breakfast. Don't call me crazy. I might eat that for breakfast. So, what is my 2019? What's, I'm sorry, best movie. Oh, I, I, okay. Here, here we go. Alright, go watch Nightfell, How to Train Your Dragon, The Hidden Wall, which that's the one movie that that should have won at the Oscar instead of Toy Story 4. Like, Kenny, are you freaking kidding me? The Avengers Endgame, Joker by Joker Phoenix, and Tom Phillip, and even Bobby Dino, and absolutely, go watch Frozen 2. Which is a cinematic max, which is a cinematic masterpiece, and all the and some we all agreed that Frozen Two is the best movie of 2019. We got some people say Joker 2019 is the it's the favorite movie of 2019, and I was on that side. But after I watched Frozen Two, that's why Frozen Two will forever be the best movie of 2019. On the guys, so tell me about your opinion on the Hellboy 2019 on the comment section below. And the and on me and on me in the law and the. Sorry. And the uh, and the language of this video is just coming to an end. So that's the only video I have to say the H was. So I'm sorry kids. I'm very sorry that you have to suffer of me saying the H word. Like come on, have you never seen the Hodgeback and the Hodgeback and Notre Dame? That film has some ton of language that kids should not be watching. The same thing with kids watch I'm sorry, kids playing GTA and some kids playing Force Night. Like come on, you should not play Force Night. Like come on. Force Night is ready T, and you're supposed to be a teenager. Why in the world that kid is under 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 is playing that game? You, you're supposed to be waiting, <clears throat> you're supposed to be waiting until you're 15. That's the rule. That's the rule. There was no need to have 5 year old, 6 year old, or even 7 year old play a, play a, um, Force Night. Because Force Night do has some, <clears throat> do has some female character that they made a butt. More size. Okay, that was really disgusting talk. I'm very sorry, everyone. I'm very sorry. I'm on my today. Anyway, if you enjoyed this rant video, if you want to see more of this nonsense, please, I highly recommend you to hit the subscribe button, turn on notification, and share the video with your whole family. And even I really did not like this film, I just want to wish a happy late and sorry, fifth anniversary of, of the H Boy movie. I can't believe why this film just turned five years old. And I would watch Missing Link. And, and, and yeah, sure, Missing Link is not a good film. And I would watch The Avengers Endgame any day. Any day than, uh, than a minute of Missing Link. I'm very sorry I'm making, I'm making noise with my mouth. I'm very sorry, everyone. It was very disgusting. Anyway, have a great morning, everyone. And I see you guys next time. And once again, yadios, everyone. Yadios.